Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss a small problem based on the methods of preparation of haloalkanes from alkenes. So, in this problem, we have been given a set of reactions and we need to identify the final products obtained in each of these. So, let us look at the first reaction. Here we have an alkene to which HBr is being added. So, we know that when a hydrogen halide is added to an alkene system, the final product or the major product obtained will be according to Markovnikov's rule of addition. That is, we know that the first step involved in this is nothing but the formation of carbocation and the pi bond can sit in such a way that the most stable carbocation obtained here will be a secondary carbocation. In the second step, Br minus adds to the carbocation to give us the final product and therefore, the final product in this particular reaction would look something like this where we have the bromine attached to carbon with less number of hydrogen atom according to Markovnikov's rule. So, this is nothing but the final product obtained in this reaction. Let us now look at the second reaction where chlorine atom or the chlorine is being added to the double bond. So, when, when we are adding halogen across the double bond, the final product that we get is nothing but a vicinal dihalide. So, in this case as well, the final product that we get is nothing but a vicinal dichloride where chlorine has been added across the double bonds here. Now, let us look at the third question that is in the third reaction, we are adding HBr across the double bond very similar to this particular reaction. Only difference is that in this reaction, we have the presence of peroxide. We know that HBr when it reacts in the presence of peroxide, it gives peroxide effect or Kharash effect and the mechanism of this reaction is nothing but radical reaction. So, the final product will be obtained according to anti markovnikovs rule such that bromine atom will be added to that particular carbon atom which has more number of hydrogen atom. Therefore, the final product obtained would look something like this which is different from the product that we have seen here because here bromine has been added to that particular carbon which has less number of hydrogen atom while here according to anti markovnikov rule bromine is added to carbon having more number of hydrogen atom. I hope you are very clear on how we have arrived at these as the final products. Thank you.